All of these contestants have been preparing for months for this event. They have been eating right, they have been working out, they have been getting in the best shape humanly possible. And this bathing suit is their uniform. I think that it gives them a chance to show off what they've been working so hard for, I mean, especially in pageants. But I think that, you know, the body is a beautiful thing, and I think that it's great that we get to celebrate that by wearing little bikinis. I mean, I think most women probably are nervous to wear a bikini, but I think that's something that you have to overcome, and it's something that you do overcome, and I think confidence shines through, so regardless of what you look like in the bikini, if you feel great in it, you'll look great. When I wear a swimsuit, I feel quite confident. I play a lot of sport, and I think that shows in my, in my body. So I'm, I'm quite proud of that, and I can feel confident. I think the swimsuit competition, one, shows your health and fitness, and two, shows your femininity and elegance and sex appeal. I think it's the most important thing in the pageant because you can totally see the full woman and how she looks like, how she walks, and how she can really show that attitude in a bikini. It was 60 years ago that someone won the crown and refused to wear a swimsuit, and the major sponsor of the event was uh, Catalina. So they said, okay, well, we're going to form our own pageant, and that one moment created the first Miss USA and first Miss Universe pageant in Long Beach and now it has grown to this huge worldwide event. It doesn't matter the size of the bottom, it just matters like you feel comfortable with it. They are getting a little smaller on our 60th anniversary we're in the country that is the birth of the smallest bikini in the world so we're embracing it.